hungry. And our thirst for knowledge. And hunger for food. Has brought us to this wild looking place on this nice overcast day, just like it was on the 20th of January, 1817. All those decades and decades and centuries ago, when this place opened its door in a small rented house in Karanhata in Kolkata, or Calcutta as it was known then. And what is this place? Now, I know the sign behind us says Presidency College. But it's not. But it's not. It's a university. Presidency University of Kolkata. Ranked as one of the best universities in the country, this place is a legend. It has been around for even longer than he has. It's uh, 27 years old. <laughs> It's a little older than that. <laughs> it's been around since 1870 when it started. It was called the Mahapatshala wing of an already existing college called Hindu College. It was only in 1855 that it was given the name Presidency College. And it was a great personality that was head of the founding committee, Raja Ram Mohan Roy. We still salute you after all those years. You are a true visionary and a true leader of India. Thank you for everything that you did. This, all that was left for you to do was scribble a little note. Don't break the law. Don't take all the money. Take a percentage. Leave four or five percent behind. Yeah, leave some behind for the other things like roads and health and things like that. The Presidency University is the breeding ground for who knows? Leaders of the future who will do all the things that Rocky is asking today's leaders to do. We're also going to eat a nine course meal. Really? Nine course. But that doesn't explain why there's no students here at nine in the morning. If I say anything about Bengal, he's my director, he gets angry. I know. Our director's view on Bengal is this. This is Bengal! The heart and soul of any university is its canteen. And this one is more of a heart and more of a soul than you would imagine because it's been around for 100 years. And it's called Pramod Das Canteen. Who's been around for 30 years? I have a question though. I hope the food's not been around since even Pramod Das time. Like he makes it fresh every day, right? Fingers crossed. But as far as canteens go, this one's quite revolutionary because it has signs like that that says, question everything. Which is a very dangerous thing to do in Bengal today, my friend. You could end up as a Maoist supporter without even knowing it. To be able to get rid of all these things, you know what I'm going to do? What? I think I'm going to run for president. <gasps> Mother, should I trust the government? No, yes. no, no. why, why? Yes, no, no, yes. no. Let's not trust the government. Let's trust the corporate sector. The, the really rich and powerful trust people. Trust the government. Because... <laughs> trust the government. <laughs> In fact, this is only the beginning. There are many other such revolutionary signs inside that make your blood pound in your heart. Calm down, Chamunda. <laughs> Pujo is still a while away. I need blood. Fresh meat, come on. Life's all about passion and college is a time when you're really at the peak of your passion and you can give rise to all these radical ideas and even try and live some of them. But it's also a time of a little bit of confusion, so you can get conflicting messages. No, it's not. It's very simple. If a cartoon is put into jail in a democracy, the youth of today will get up and fight till the last drop of their blood to free him, because that is the right thing to do. Correct. So if you're a youth and you want to do all these things, and you want to do a jail bharo andolan, please write into us at yummy at ndtvgoodtimes.com and we will forward your names to the correct people. There should be no ambiguity in thoughts. Either you are for democracy or against it as there's a sign up there. So a lot of the signs over here are extremely radical, depicting that passionate nature of young students in this college. Some of them, of course, are politically correct and the others are... Well, I don't know, like this young man. It's weird how women want men beside them to protect them from other men. Excuse This one, on the other hand, his is her story to say no to sexual violence. Thumbs up. Complete. Well done. Good sign. In fact, I, I like that. Yeah. And so do my friends in Spain because they're Hispanics and they're also her Hispanics. <laughs> what about the Himalayas? The mountains? Yeah. What about them? They could be called her Himalayas. <laughs> Very true. Vijay Malaya would be interested in that one. Or snakes? Whenever you go close to them, they go hiss. They could also go hiss. Or the hiss of the snake could be followed by oh. the hiss where you go. There are some other interesting signs and the fun thing is that all these signs are primarily in red uh, except the one about the blood. 
The blood donation camp sign is one it's of the black. few ones which are black. In fact, there's a lot of motivational signs over here. There's one that says, when the rich rob the poor, it's called business. When the poor fight bag, it's called violence. Trust the private sector, really. Even more than the government. Should we go get some food now? I Finally. think so. As far as college canteens go, this one has a reasonable variety, but it's not very special. The chow mein itself, very basic taste, very simple. They've thrown in a bit of egg, some chicken. What's supposed to be special over here is this, the luchi and the aloo, which is for some reason called the paratha and the aloo over here. How's it? It's quite nice. What could go wrong with this? It's deep fried. It has carbohydrates, nicely spiced, not too oily and definitely a better alternative than this. What is different and quite exciting because I've had a big bite is this. This is the fish chop. You can detect a faint hint of fish in there. So there is at least 20 grams of it. But it is really wholesome, really delicious, really spicy and is served up along with a generous portion of Kashundi mustard. So that makes this my favorite dish in this canteen. And quite unusual because especially all those people up north, when was the last time you had fish? Come here, engage in revolutionary thought, think red and eat some fish. On Apollo Highway on my plate, it's time for Rocky and Mayur's report card. Rocky, political correctness. From Nitaji knocking a teacher down the stairs all the way to the weird sign about women, C minus. How about revolutionary idealism? A plus. Will I go to jail for saying that? No. Only if you ask it as a question. Color scheme? Red and black. Unless the cops catch you, then it's black and blue. Thanks. India's number one news app just got even better. Download NDTV's new app. Fully optimized for retina display. Full screen view. Faster response time. And Sudoku. NDTV's new iPad app. Download now.